the real quick Dutch oven cast iron biscuits and gravy. Not from scratch. There's a heat diffuser going on. And then we'll open the uh, oven. Put a little uh, oil in there just to make sure everything's nice and not sticking. And let that heat for a minute. And these are just uh, flaky layer biscuits. Just a little spray of oil in there and then we'll get it closed up and let them rise. That's not quite enough. And that's a little too much. Let's uh, go ahead and flip these over and uh, brown the other side. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Open this up, see what they look like. Yep, I burnt them. That's what I do. Or at least I didn't let you down. But I've got a fix for that. Put a little more oil on there just to make everything happy. I flipped these over to let them brown a little bit, and it's just sitting there with the heat from the uh, from the Dutch oven. It's not on the fire. Let's go ahead and get some sausage cooking. If I can get it out of this tube. Come on. Come on. There we go. Chop, 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 chop. They're browning up nicely. And what I'm gonna do is, these are layer biscuits, so I'm just gonna take off that burnt layer and I'll flip them over and then uh, rebrown the other side. And that, uh, that should take care of it. That'll be good enough for me. There we go. Much better. I'm happy. I'm gonna just let them brown up just a little bit more. I like it, I like it, I like it. And now a can of sausage gravy. I told you this was not homemade, right? I did disclose that, correct? Yeah? Okay, good. Stir, 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 stir. And that's not sticking on the pot. You can see with the spatula how it's coming off. So it should be, should be easy to clean. Now let's get this on a plate. This is going to be really yummy in my tummy. And uh, if you were here, I'd let you have one, but you're not. So thanks for making that easier on me. Yummies in my tummies. And now cleanup time. Wiping it out with paper towel and then we're going to put some coarse sea salt in it. Scrub those a little bit. And after that we will spray it with a coat of oil and we'll let that sit on the heat for a while to re-season it. And we'll be good for next time. Yummy, yummy, yummy.